It's been a while since I've done an unedited ramble, and I'm going to try to keep myself short. You might hear my electric heater blowing in the background, or the cats, or my phone. It's a very much... Uh, it's just a basic quick attempt to get something out. For the most part of the last year, I was working on a uh, video based on the very first Formula E race back in 2014. And the timing would have been amazing, given we're in 2024 now, so it would have been 10 years since this race happened. Uh, matter of fact, Formula E is heading into its 10th anniversary, obviously. And, uh, yeah, procrastination happened, and uh, for the most part of last year, the video didn't come out. Uh, but in the meantime, I heard a lot of people complaining about electric mobility, from my uncle saying that he will never buy an electric car, just randomly talking about this topic, to when I attended the Central European Rally of the WRC, and to people next to where I was standing having a conversation in English, saying that if they ever witnessed the WRC going full electric, it would be over for them. So, so that already planted a bit of doubt in my head whether I should actually make this video. And now, for one, my editing software glitched. But only for this project. Anything else seems to work fine. This one, 33%, it does without an issue, and afterwards it just freezes up. It still counts, it still, it still shows me the estimated time, but it's just not moving forward. And then, I just recently saw how people love to criticize pretty much everything Formula E. Um, they seem to hold it to a different standard than other things. Things that Formula E is criticized for, things that I see in Formula 1 as well, but it doesn't seem to bother people over there. And the thing is, there was a German motorsport news site and an article about the Formula 1 had no comments while an article about Formula E had, like, a bunch of comments, which were mainly people complaining. I feel like it is <laughs> not out of the question that if I was to release a video on the very first Formula E race, in which I don't just criticize the Formula E as the worst thing that had happened in the history of mankind, but actually have positive opinions about it, I might end up getting a lot of weird people in the comment section. People who claim to like motorsport for the sport, but then just boil it down to only the engine sound being the thing that matters, which isn't really making sense to me, but to each their own, I guess. But yeah, so the video project that I wanted to release last year is pretty much on ice, I guess. Not that anyone cares. And so I had an entire year now of not having released a single thing, so I thought to myself, fuck it, might as well release just a statement video like this, just rambling, talking, informing what's going on, and, uh, yeah. I'm planning for the future to maybe look into my technical difficulties that I have, and see if I can do gameplay videos again, and in terms of uh, in terms of topics that I'm doing mini documentaries about, I do have other ideas. I got a few on the back burner that I thought about, but then thought to myself, you can't just do another project while you still haven't even finished the Formula E one. But now that I'm probably not going to do the Formula E one, I can probably try and move on with one of the other things, which. Uh, yeah, one of them was another Formula E story, so there's that. But I'm probably, at the very least, gonna try and steer clear of the things that seem to bring forth some very strange people. You know, it would help probably also if I had something like a sign-off, like a something that I say when a video ends. But I don't.